Okay, everybody, welcome back to Ryan's Ohana. So today we are going to the video game museum here in Frisco, Texas at the Discovery Center here in Frisco. So let's check it out. We've never been here before. It's the National Video Game Museum. Never been here before. I've always wanted to see it since we moved here. So let's let's check it out. Let's see what's like. There it is, the Dis Frisco Discovery Center. National Video Game Museum. There's has got a black box theater and an art gallery and a train topia. Huh. It's cool they got Pac-Man. Here at the beginning. That's pretty cool. Here we are inside. This is National Video Game Museum right there. Let's see if we can check in, see if we can get our tickets for this. Whoa, this is cool. That is really cool. It's from Pixels. It's all the old video game systems. There's the Xbox, Atari, Sega, GameCube. Miko. This is really cool. There's the price to get in. So it's twelve dollars for single mission. Ten for military. Ten for under ten, and then free for three and under. Simple rules, no climbing through the kind. Don't steal stuff. <laughs> As soon as you pay, you get a wristband. They also give you some tokens to uh, play at the arcade at the end. Well, this is the first part of it. Let's go to stage one where it says begin. So it's the brown box prototype. This is the first ever prototype of the model, the first home video game system. That's really cool. Coffee. The old school Atari. Mr. Michael license for the Pong. Puppy Pong. Odyssey. Fewer than four. TV tennis. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. There's a old school I used to play with Pong um, back in the day. Now it's to move the, the block to make sure you hit the boss so it'll go to the other side. And of course you got the originals right here. You got Pac-Man, Sonic, Mario, Pikachu, Donkey Kong. This is really cool. There's a timeline of the consoles. You got Odyssey, Atari, there's the Pong. Wow. Really cool. So, fun story here. My first ever game that I ever played on was the on that Atari 2600. That was my dad's old system that he had. He, he had it when he was a kid, and of course, he had rather than I played it. And then, of course, N NES, we had that. He had the Game Boy. <clears throat> and we had a Genesis growing up. We had a Game Gear. And then I know I had a kind of Saturn. We had the Saturn. I remember the Saturn. Of course, the PlayStation. Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color. PlayStation 2, Dreamcast. 
course the Xbox, PlayStation, Wii. I remember I had this as a kid too. This is my favorite one growing up. It's the PSP. The courses are today's systems. Some of the shirts that they had, NBA Jam, Asteroids. Capcom, I remember those. Ridge Racer, of course Mario. Dragon Slayer. Star Fox, I remember that game, Star Fox. Sega Saturn. Pretty cool. So these are some other things they have here. This is pretty cool. It shows you the different. What it looked like on the different systems. That's what it looked like on Game Boy. That's what it looked like on Atari. That's the arcade version. There's the NES version. There's some of the Net Your In 1997, Sony said to prospective game designers and I'll let everyone to be a third party developer for the PlayStation. Original box that came in. Here's the Dreamcast. Here's the test for the PlayStation 2. Come here. Here's the Xbox development. Super Mario Brothers, Print World, <laughs> Death Trap, Konami, Hyper Boy, is it kind of like a Game Boy? Here, these are the different type of cartridges that they had for the for the games that you would just plug into your game systems. That's just pretty cool. How big they were, of course. Then, of course, they made them smaller. And the science behind it. Little cartridges. That's actually really cool. And of course, you got to the modern games that we had that we knew. You know, I said, remember blowing into these things to try and get them to work. And then, of course, going to here where you had to clean the discs to make sure that they worked. And here you have all the different controllers. Pretty 
got your PlayStation controller, Nintendo 64 controller. You got a Barbie PlayStation controller. There's a gun you used to use for Duck Hunt. Of course, the original Xbox ones. Goes for your Wii and PlayStation. Some more controllers. Wow. Time crisis. So of course you had your Easter eggs, glitches, and bugs in your games that you used to have. You know, we had those glitches that were like, oh wait. <laughs> These are glitches in the game. These are some of the portable games that you used to have. <laughs> the World Championship Football. Portable game. Baseball portable game. It's all these 70 and 80s handheld games. They got Pac-Man. Burger Time. Some of the Donkey Kong ones. The Frogger. Here's some of the old Game Boys. The Game Boy Colors. I used to have I used to have this one. That was my Game Boy Color. It was purple. And then we had this one too. It was the original Game Boy we had. Some of the more portable ones. Game Boy Advance. Some of the Pokemon ones. Walking into these stores, <laughs> everything must go. Here's some of the computers that they had back then. It's the basic keyboards. And IBM. Timex Sinclair 1000. That's pretty cool. Atari 780. D&D? Nope. <laughs> Dragon's Lair. Are <laughs> Some of the computer games I got on. It's 
how you move the stick here and move the guy. Some of the computer games that you can play. There's a lot of people on them, so I don't, I don't want to jump in there. But yeah, some of the pens that they have. Virtual reality stuff. Private eye stuff. Oculus. Pretty cool place. There you go, Doom, the board game. All the board, all the old school board games. Into the War, Zelda, Pac-Man. It's 
tapping your head to head with the keyboard. Car adapters to put your games in the car. Final Fantasy. Hubert. Where's Wreck It Ralph? Pretty sure back in the days, in the old days, is how they had their system set up. The Peshmo posters. Well, look at this guy. Run Cowherd, Castlevania. Look! The Ross is pretty cool. They we're at the end here where you can play video games in here, but this is the old school Pac Man by the Halley Company in Midway. Really cool. So it looks like that was it from here. As you can see, I got Master Chief behind me. That's a pretty cool place to come and visit, to come visit the National Video Game Museum here in Frisco. That's pretty fun. So now I'm actually gonna go inside here because they gave us some free tickets and free tokens. I'm gonna go play some games. So we will see you guys in the next one. Have a great so of course my behind will play, play Pac-Man. I feel like I'm in Stranger Things. Woo! Oh no! I have one life left. And I just gotta get those other things over here. Yeah, 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 I actually beat a level. I died. That was fun. Over here playing Tron. She's getting ready for Disney World, so when she rides Tron. And she died. Epic, man. <laughs>